तुझको या तेरे नदीश गिरिवन को नमन किसको नमन करूं मैं भारत किसको नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं सागर जल राशि जहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ दूर मिले नीले मासे दूर मिले नीले मासे अस्ता चल गामी रवि अस्ता चल गामी रवि लाल रंग रंगे वहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ स्वर्ण भूमि बालू का पे स्वर्ण भूमि बालू का पे छिट के प्रतिबिंब जा पे छिट के प्रतिबिंब जा पे रंग भूमि रंग रंग रंगे रंग भूमि रंग रंगे ऐसो मधुर दृश्य कहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ सागर जल राशि जहाँ Holder of infinite store of water, O ocean, how many pearls are there in your depth is impossible for the human intellect to estimate. Countless living forms are existing under your umbrella of protective care. It is your water only that after evaporation takes shape as clouds and comes back in the form of rains because of which humans and animals and other living forms take shape on earth. You are so great that by accommodating all the rivers of the world into you, you give them your form. God has given you such glory that even the sun, which is 13 million times bigger than you, while rising or setting, appears as though it is arising out of you and sets back into you. A bigger depth than the height of the tallest peak of Himalayas is within you and yet you remain very quiet. This is itself your greatness. On the full moon day, your waves flirting with fun with the moon give the message of love to all living beings. Humans consume as food billions of sea animals every year that reside in your heart and in return, they throw all the waste into you through rivers. How grateful are today's humanity! People who are insensitive to responsibilities towards the society and the nation clean their houses and dump the waste on the road outside. They are least bothered that the waste they have thrown out might hurt the barefooted on the road or even about the fact that the domestic filth they have dumped outside might putrefy and cause foul smell and stink. But an educated person who is conscious of responsibilities towards the society 
and the nation would collect all the waste after cleaning the house in specific dustbins or dump them in a pit for composting it is a common sight that people traveling in trains would throw the peels of peanut either in the compartment itself wherever they are sitting or just throw them below their seats they never think for even a moment that they are dirtying the place where they are sitting they could easily throw the peanut peels outside from the window however while dirtying the place where they are sitting they forget that even a cow while trying to sit somewhere it tries to clean the place first the commitment and responsibility towards the nation is highest among japanese they are ever committed towards the development and cleanliness of their country europe and america have a culture of cleanliness under the fear of punishment the citizens of nepal sikkim and assam are quite conscious of environment and cleanliness while most parts of our country are totally oblivious about cleanliness people have no qualms about dirtying public places what an unfortunate situation that even a city like delhi the pride of place of the nation is found wanting in terms of environmental protection and cleanliness if the members of the municipal corporation are patriotic and are duty conscious they would leave no stone unturned keep their city environments clean and neat they would commission waste treatment plants place trash bins at regular intervals and see to it that they are cleaned regularly and the waste disposed of appropriately they would also see to the fact that the official units do not dispose of the waste into rivers without purifying them on the other hand the officials of the municipal corporations who are not committed towards the society and the country would just dispose of the waste into rivers due to their idleness laziness and indifference by taking it as the be all and end all of their duty it never crosses their mind that the rivers are lifelines of cities and the country and not for cleaning the filth and excreta by presenting us with the elixir like water they nurture us when laziness and selfishness win over commitment and duties then the cities will all over be covered with filth and waste in such a situation all people become blind to the situation and prefer to remain mute witnesses through the rivers the entire urine and excreta from the toilets and the industrial waste reach the oceans along with tons of plastic waste through 20 rivers of the world plastic waste reaches the oceans of which yangtze river of china dumps about 0.33 million tons and ganga of india about 0.115 million tons every year the most disturbing fact is that plastic has been found in the deepest trench of the pacific ocean the mariana trench with a depth between 10927 and 11034 meters oil tankers transport oil to the tune of 1.5 billion tons across the world and about 100 million tons across india every year of which about 800 tons at an average get spilled into the sea while loading and unloading 2 lakh tons in addition natural gas industrial chemicals and pesticides are also transported across oceans at times of accidents most of these chemicals also get released into the oceans polluting the waters in recent times oil excavation from seabeds is in practice at the time of drawing oil 
from the oceanic drills, the waste that comes out of the drill still contains about 70 to 80 tons of oil which gets thrown back into the sea. The ocean is a divine gift of nature to humans. There is gold in the seas and the sea water. It is estimated that a liter of sea water would contain approximately 13 billionth of a gram of gold. There is also gold on the bottom of the seas. To get that gold mined would be a Herculean task. Currently, there is no cost-effective method of extracting gold from the seabeds and the sea water. Till such time we come up with cost-effective methods, gold from the seas would remain a pipe dream. In addition to gold, the seas are also sources of silver, copper and zinc besides natural gas. Pollution of seawater poses danger to the survival of the many fishes, dolphins and other creatures that live in it. Animals living on polluted seas bioaccumulate the pollutants and by eating these animals, humans become victims of many diseases. Because of pollution, harm is caused to the marine algae and other phytoplankton. Selfish nature of humans is highly detrimental. Today, the world has made the oceans that are responsible for forming clouds and bringing rains to the earth large garbage dumps. They do not even think of what would happen if there would be no rains. Forests, rivers, mountains and oceans are all for the welfare of the people only. But then, greedy people are bent upon destroying them, exploiting them continuously for their needs. It seems as though they are cutting the same branch on which they are sitting. Sarve bhavantu sukhi naha Sarve santu niramaya 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 Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Makashit dukhu bhag bhavet Makashit dukhu bhag bhavet Makashit dukhu bhag bhavet Om shanti 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 